hardline protesters rally outside the British Embassy in Tehran. The British spy must be expelled, they chant. They're referring to the UK's ambassador, who was arrested by Iran in a diplomatic attack. Rob McCare was accused of attending an illegal gathering, a charge he denies. The ambassador was quickly released, but summoned today to the foreign ministry. We believe that the actions yesterday with the ambassador were a breach of the Vienna Convention, totally unacceptable. Iran does need to step back from that kind of activity and play a proper part in working with partners. Little sign of that, judging by these scenes. They hold posters of a top Iranian general killed in a US drone strike. Only small scale for now, they're bound to prompt fears of a repeat of 2011. Rioters stormed the embassy, forcing its closure. The mission only reopened five years ago, as London and Tehran worked to mend ties. But it's an increasingly fraught time for Iran amid its standoff with America. Its forces have just admitted to shooting down a Ukrainian passenger jet after days of denial. This newspaper headline reads, shame. It fueled protests of a different kind, these ones against the government and seemingly favorable towards the United States. President Donald Trump urged Iran's leaders, don't kill your protesters. Thousands have already been killed or imprisoned by you and the world is watching. In Ukraine, officials are watching to see how Iran deals with the plane tragedy. How did its Revolutionary Guard mistake a passenger jet for a missile? It's overshadowed Iran's attempt to avenge the killing of Major General Qasem Soleimani. In your opinion, given that Iran had just launched military strikes across the border against US targets in Iraq, would their air defences have been on particularly high alert that night? In the condition Iran was in at that time, where the IRGC and military forces were in a very tense state waiting for the US to respond. Tensions will have been increasing and there's the real possibility of making huge mistakes in these moments. Iran's leaders will be feeling under pressure. This could make them more sensitive than usual to domestic dissent and to ambassadors who fall out of favor. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Kiev.